like I said, that the first wife's gonna have to discuss the reason why she fight for or divorce. Anyone, I think this has to do with uh, something to deal with that with her ex husband, and I don't know the reason why the man refused to move on after 12 years. This is, this is serious. Let's, let's listen to her based on different sexual orientation. He's still alive. He has messages. There are evidence. There are letters. At any point in time, the Supreme Court can subpoena MTN. Oh, yes. They can subpoena MTN and bring forward text messages. If need be, that can be done in court. So, I am not worried about all those things. But I am more concerned about women that think that because they are going through divorce, it's like saying presently, if you, uh, may you, Educhi, should date, should decide that she wants to start dating, she is committing adultery, right? Legally, legally, they will say, may you, Educhi, is committing adultery because her divorce is not yet final. But is she still practically married to you? The answer is no, they are not, right? So any woman that files for a divorce and decides to start dating is an adulteress. But any man that files for a divorce can go ahead and remarry even before that divorce is finalized. Men can remarry even without filing for a divorce from their ex-wives. Men can remarry even without asking permission from their wives but women cannot date after filing for a divorce that is the country we live in and that is why i am doing this live you see this narrative has to change this narrative has to change women are not slaves when a woman files for a divorce from a man She's no longer married to that man. And the divorce is taking years to happen. If that woman should find love, she has every right, every right to be happy in that relationship. And if that comes with a price tag of being called an adulteress, wear the price, wear the adulteress tag with a crown.